Should I start a Patreon account? Hey vapers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Smoke G80. And yes, this is pronounced smoke. The only reason some vape YouTubers use the word smock is because they don't want to associate anything vaping related with smoking. But say smock all you want. Alright guys, yes, today I am looking at the G80 kit. So this is the G80 mod and the spirals tank. Let's open it up. I do have it here in green and black. It comes in red and black, gold and black, or silver. And you can get this for around $50. I will leave a link below to where you can check it out for yourself, but let's just see what it comes with. Right on top we have the G80 mod and a do not eat packet. Let's pull the mod out for now and beneath the mod, we should have everything else included in the kit. You have the user's manual, the quality quality control card, and a battery caution card. Then you have the micro USB to USB cord, extra O-rings, a matching spirals tank, an extra glass tube, and an extra coil. Here is the G80 mod. It is super tiny, really pocket friendly or purse friendly, and there is a little pull off the plastic. Ooh, so shiny. This is the OLED screen. This does take a single 18650 battery, which is sold separately, and you just pull up, kind of like a magazine and the 18650 battery sits in there. I'm gonna put in one of my LG batteries, slide it in, and it automatically comes on, says Smoke G80. Oh, well, I thought it automatically came on, but it didn't, it just showed that intro screen, but it's still off. So here is the mod itself, and on the top we have a 510 connection, the OLED screen, on the side we have the fire button and the up and down plus or minus regulatory buttons. We have a micro USB port here, there's nothing really on the bottom or the back except for G80. Some venting holes on the side. The mod itself is 75.5 millimeters tall by 38.5 millimeters wide and 26.5 millimeters at the top. So this is called the G80 because it goes up to 80 watts, anywhere from 6 to 80 watts. But it also does TC mode for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel heating elements anywhere between 200 degrees Fahrenheit and 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius through 315 degrees Celsius. In variable wattage mode, the resistance range for this device is 0.1 ohm to 3 ohm, and in variable temperature mode, anywhere from 0.06 ohm to 3 ohm. Here is the spirals tank. It is a 22 millimeter diameter with a 510 connection, and it is 48 millimeters tall. It holds two mils of e-liquid, so it is TPD compliant. It is top fill. Thin off this top portion and fill in there, and the drip tip is also removable. It's a Delrin drip tip, so you can Put whatever drip tip you want on it if you had like a matching color one. There are four airflow slots at the bottom that are adjustable and they are on a stopper. The spirals tank is pre-installed with a 0.6 dual canthal coil. It's good for lower wattage and more vapor. This vapes between 18 and 35 watts, but performs its best at 28 watts. Here is the extra coil. It is a 0.3 ohm dual canthal coil. It is good for more airflow and clouds. Good between 20 and 45 watts, but best vaped at 35 watts. Here is the setup all put together, and I think it looks really nice that the spirals tank has matching green O-rings, and then this little green spin top right here that you take off to fill it. I'm going to fill my spirals tank today with some apple juice by the Dollar E Juice Club. I know I didn't look at this flavor in my last video because they sent this to me after my last video, but it is such a realistic, like it's straight up apple juice. It's not like the one that I tried from Watts that I actually really liked that, I just didn't like their labeling. Um, it was, that one was more like, that was apple juice, green apple, but it was also candy. But this one is like real apple juice, like no, like th it doesn't have that candy vibe. So I'm freaking in love with it. So three clicks turns it on and it does display an array of different things. Up the top it has your power level and what mode you're in, which is watts, the battery indicator. Here it says normal for the normal, softer, hard draw strength that you have, a puffs counter, the working voltage and the ohm, and when you press the fire button and you have an atomizer on top and everything's good to go, it does flash a seconds counter right here where it says norm for normal. If you press the power button three times fast, you enter the menu mode where you can change the mode, you can set the puffs, there's a settings option and a power on or power off. To select, you just press and long hold, then you can select watts. Temp. And then after you select, you can choose the strength, the draw strength. Oops, I it timed out. So you can choose the draw strength. 
from five different options, min, soft, normal, hard, and max. If you go into the puffs mode, you can set how many puffs you're allowed to have each time it's on. It shows that I've already had four, and then you can reset the puffs as well, yes or no. And then in the settings option, you can adjust the screen time, you can lock the screen, you can change the contrast, you can adjust the ohms, or you can enter download for upgradable firmware. The watts do adjust in 0.1 increments, and I have it set at 28 watts, which is where they suggest that this performs its best. But it does have some protection features, like intelligent atomizer recognition, and it has that puff monitoring system, so you can set as many puffs as you can get each time it's on. It also has a 12 second cutoff. It has short circuit and overheating protection, and low battery warning. So let's just take a puff off of this for the first time. It's really small, I like this. This is definitely a pocket mod or an on-the-go mod. I mean, it could be somebody's like regular mod. It doesn't have to be on-the-go, but I'm saying that this is really tiny, like, and pretty lightweight. It only has a eight, single 18650 battery in it. Mm. Oh, that apple juice flavor is so good, and it's coming through quite well on the first vape. You know, I feel like you have to break in a coil, like get the wicks really saturated with the flavor before you can really judge a coil, like a brand new coil on the flavor. But clouds, bitch, and that's just 28 watts. It does have those four little airflow slots, and I do have them all wide open, but I feel like it's a little bit of a tighter draw. Maybe not so much a tighter draw, but it's a concentrated draw because this is a smaller drip tip. It's not as wide bore as I'm used to, and so it's a, definitely a concentrated vape, and it does kind of... From what I'm used to, it doesn't have as much of an airflow as other tanks, but it's not affecting the vape. It's just kind of, like I said, a more condensed vape. And honestly, with the way the airflow is and how small the drip tip is, me personally, I don't think I'd want to vape this much higher because then I feel like the vape would be getting warm. And I personally don't like a warm vape. I like a cool vape. So I definitely wouldn't take it higher. But it is performing great at 28 watts like recommended. Well, there you have it, guys. The Smoke G80 kit with the Spirals tank and the G80 mod. I will leave a link below to where you can check this out for yourself. If you're interested, if you've tried this, let me know down in the comments below what you think or if you haven't tried it and you'd love to try it. Like, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. But that's it for the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be down below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please join Casa.org and learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.